Hi everyone, I'm Jen Rice and I wanted to come in today and talk a little bit about security. And security is something that's come up for me. Um, the reason I even thought about this topic was a good friend of mine and I were talking because she's recently going to change her full-time employment, which she considers to be very secure and she's actually stepping into a um, a job that is a little bit different it's kind of a startup in medicine but she's she's really excited about the challenge that it'll be but at the same time um, we were talking about how we get really drawn into security and so that made me think well like what is what is security and how do we really view this so basically the reality of security is two things it's twofold so you can feel secure and actually not really be secure and then you can be secure and actually be safe but you actually don't feel like you are so you know there's trade-off any time that we start talking about um, security so what do I mean by that? Like, okay, if I buy an alarm system for my house, I my trade-off is I have to pay for an alarm system, but I have the feeling of being more secure because the, the worry of a burglar is um, m more so for me that I'm willing to pay for my alarm system. Same with like um, my friend who's changing her profession. Like the reward for her to potentially change and be able to work um, in a different capacity, that possibility is, a, is the trade-off that it may or may not work out, right? So um, I want to say most of the time, you know, a lot of us make trade-offs, you know, every day. So I have some friends that are a little bit fearful of flying. I will not call you out, <laughs> but fearful of flying. So some people think that if they drive, they will, um, it's safer, they feel more secure or more in control because they're the one driving. But we all know, um, every statistic will say that you're much safer in a plane than you are driving, but it's that feeling of security, right? So, you know, one thing I wanted to point out that I thought could be helpful and why I wanted to shoot the video, not only to share like feelings of security, but I've even personally myself been going through um, some things where I'm setting up to make some major changes and you know what 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 was holding me back from doing that before and oftentimes it has a lot to do with the feeling of security um, so feeling happens when we don't notice okay so that's how you feel when you're not really noticing you just feel something but when you actually take notice two things happen that can really help you with this whole security concept um, we can have positive uh, or negative examples that actually draw us to a conclusion. So we can like logically, so if we're not just worried about feeling secure, we actually look at the plan ahead and we, we list the positive and negatives of things that can actually happen or conclusions, we'll be able to find um, the best outcome for ourselves. And the second thing is um, there won't be a bunch of emotion clouding the issue. So, you know, I think sometimes for, for different people, security can mean different things and these feelings come up. And when you're wanting to try something new or step into something different, um, a lot of people worry about this sense of security. But I think it's important for us to remember that, that there's a reality to security and that it's very, um, it's easy for us to kind of try to put things in other pockets so that we can make a better decision not just relying on the feeling of it but really realistically what this looks like on paper so um, I hope you guys found value in this um, like I said it was um, you know it was something we were talking about this weekend this friend of mine and I who she's gonna step out of her traditional um, salaried employment and go into a, um, a an online type of um, working environment where she's doing in her same field of work um, but it is a a different situation and something new and a little bit unknown and I just encourage everyone to kind of think through rather than feel through some things I tend to act a lot on feelings in general 
I know a lot of us do, but oftentimes if you can kind of think through things, you'll find that most things that we think are secure for us are really not a secure um, point. Okay, so I go, hope you guys have a great day. If you like my content, please hit subscribe anytime I go live. And um, thanks again for watching.